So Team Keep It Clean, welcome to another episode of the uh, Team Keep It Clean podcast. Appreciate y'all taking the time out of your day uh, to stop and have a listen. Um, before, because I want to jump right into this thing, but before we jump into it, got to give a huge shout out to Manscaped. Uh, Manscaped, they just literally just came out like a week ago uh, with the Lawnmower 4.0. Uh, and they also came out with Cologne too. And like I told y'all in the previous episode of the podcast, I love the Cologne. I, I love it Like literally the day that we got it uh, I went, took a shower, put it on man Cause I loved it uh, But they also have a uh, The Weed Whacker That's good for the nose hairs Cause you know so When you start getting nose hairs You know you're getting up there in age a little bit And I got plenty of them So it's not a bad thing It's not a bad thing But um, the Weed Whacker takes care of all of that And of course if you want to order anything uh, off of Manscaped, whether it be the Lawnmower 4.0, whether it be the Weed Whacker, whether it be the Cologne, whether it be a package that has all of them in there once, whatever you want from Manscaped, you can use code Keep It Clean. Use code Keep It Clean uh, at Manscaped.com, and you will get 20% off and free shipping. Don't say I ain't try to put you all on because I did plenty of times. Hit up Manscaped, shout out to them, appreciate y'all um, they, yeah, they, they they good people over there uh, But anyway, today is uh, May 12th And for the NFL, the schedule, it's today is the day it comes out Today is the day And, and this is NFL's last little bit of genuine hype this is the last little bit of hype that they can really get out of people uh, before the season starts. This is the last part because you know with the NFL, of course, they're a business. So they really try to stretch it out as much as they possibly can. They try to stretch it out. They try to keep people interested as much as they can uh, because the season is short. So the way that it goes after the Super Bowl, it's the it's free agency. Free agency usually starts in March, and that's that's a big thing because that's when all these players whose contracts are expiring, they go on to new teams and whatnot, and so that's really cool. It's, it's always fun. We have a lot of fun with free agency on here, um, and then after free agency, so that lasts for a little while, and then after free agency, it's the draft. Oh, who's this team going to pick? Who's that team going to pick? Who's going to be the number one, number two overall, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and, and then there's that whole thing for the draft Because free agency starts like the middle of March uh, And the draft is toward the end of April So they have that month that month and change to where uh, my, Yeah, about a month and a half to where they uh, they It's hot with free agency But then people are talking about who should this team draft Who should that team draft da, 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 da. So that goes on So that covers March and April and then a tiny bit of May, like this year, the draft, uh, it went from April 28th, I think, to May 1st, something like that. But anyway, um, so the draft, it, it happens, and that is a show of its own. Of course, they do uh, the big show for the first round of the draft. Uh, this year, they got to have fans back, and that place was packed. It was, like, packed, packed, packed. Um, but that was fun, watching it and seeing it. Uh, and the draft, yeah, we always stream the first round of the draft. We have a lot of fun doing that. And this was probably the most fun that we've had uh, watching a draft and, and streaming it. We had a lot of fun. Uh, so they do that for the first round. And then, they, again, with the draft, they stretch it out because it's the first round on the, on the Thursday, the second and third round on Friday, and the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh on uh, Saturday. So then Sunday is done. So then it's like, okay, man, what are we going to do now? And that takes you, again, free agency, for May, middle of May, then the draft, end of April. Uh, and then we have the schedule release. So the schedule release, that's what it is now. Um, and that's, that's today, the middle of May. It's not as big as the draft. It's not as big as free agency, but it is the next biggest thing. And then after the schedule release, that's it. <laughs> that, that's it. You don't really get much uh, hype stuff for NFL because, I mean, they're going to have the mini camps, the rookie mini camps. They're going to have training camps and all of that. And that's going to be cool, but that's it's a long stretch for that. So after tonight, for you to get hyped about the NFL, it, like they kept saying all last year with, when there were no fans, 
B-Y-O-E Bring your own energy Because that, that's what you're going to have to do um, But so today uh, and, and even today uh, After today or even after tonight It's going to be a lot of people doing the schedule predictions Oh how's this team going to do How's that team going to do So on and so forth And that's cool and that's fun And that'll last for a little bit It'll last for a tiny bit We're we probably going to do it on here as well um, But then what? Then it's that stretch It's that stretch But we're we going to still have a lot of fun on here Y'all already know how it goes And if you knew Whether it be to the podcast Or you're new uh, to the YouTube channel uh, We still have a lot of fun during the off season um, But then there's that stretch From about the middle of May Through June Through July And once you make it there once you make it there, boom, you're at the preseason, and whew, there you go. There you go. You made it. And it's a beautiful feeling. Once you get to August, it's like, oh my gosh, we're actually here? I can't believe it. So it's a lot of fun. So then August comes. That's obviously preseason. And then September, boom, you're there at the regular season. And there will be a preseason this year. There will be one, so that should be a lot of fun. So yeah, with that, and, and then the season obviously goes from September uh, to December, January, and then the playoffs from January, February, uh, and then even like the NFL, like I said, they try to stretch stuff out because you got to keep people interested. After the AFC and NFC championship games, because those are the games that determine who goes to the Super Bowl, uh, you have a two-week period. And usually every single two-week period, Usually every single time, there's always some crazy story that comes out during that time. Always. It's always some crazy story that comes out just to keep people interested in the NFL, to keep people talking about NFL. It goes without fail. So, after that, there's a Super Bowl. And then from, from Super Bowl to free agency, it's about a month. Because Super Bowl is usually like in the middle of uh, February. It's usually in the beginning, middle of February. And then, boom, free agency is in the middle of uh, March. So, yeah, so the NFL season, they, they try to do as much as they possibly can uh, to stretch it out from August. So that's preseason all the way until May. It's tough, and they, they get really creative, but they do a pretty good job. So shout out to the NFL, man. NFL is a very powerful business. It is a very big business, and they make a lot of money. Now, it's funny because today... Um, the first game of the schedule is come out for every team. So every team, uh, every fan of every team knows who their team is playing in week one. And it's, it's been funny seeing a lot of uh, Ravens fans just get super hyped because everybody, okay, the game is in Las Vegas. The Raiders, that's who the Ravens playing week one of the season. And they're going to be playing the Raiders. So I see a lot of people say, oh, yeah, I'm getting ready to go. I'm getting ready to go. I'm getting ready to go. I'm going to fly out there. I'm going to go there. I'm going to the first game of the season. Let's go. Let's get it. And it's hype, man. It's exciting. But then I saw some people be like, hey, man, I, I really wanted to go until I saw them prices. Never mind. I'll be watching it right from the crib. And I ain't mad at that at all. I haven't even looked at prices yet. I ain't really uh, plan on going. But, um... I, I mean, I would like to, but I didn't plan on going. Uh, so I'm gonna look at the prices just to look, but I'm I'm not looking with uh, any crazy serious intent of going. Um, it would be fun, but I yeah, we'll we'll see how that thing goes. Uh, but definitely, um, I'm waiting till tonight to see when that Dolphins game is coming out. Like that's gonna be uh, that, that's gonna be the one right there, that Dolphins game. Um, because y'all know, man, that's that's the game that I look forward to uh, for the Ravens every single year. And when I found out that they were playing playing the Dolphins again this year, I was so because what I what I really wanted to happen last season was for the playoffs because it was looking it was, it was looking a little sh shaky at one point. But um, I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, hold up. I'm, I'm looking at I'm looking at these tickets right now. The game is on Monday the thirteenth, so I think flying back on maybe like a Tuesday would be cool. Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, yeah. Let me check. I'm just looking up the tickets right now live. So 
I'm just doing some test runs. I don't even know what flight this is. Um, I don't know what airline this is. It might be Frontier, because I have never seen this logo before. But it does look like an F. So that might be Frontier. Um, for the five-hour flight with no TV or nothing? <laughs> yeah, no. Uh-uh. That, that's, that'd be tough right there, man. You save, save a little bit of money now, but oof, boy, that would be tough. Tough. Let me see. Basic da 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 Hmm. So I'm, I'm, I'm just looking for fun and see it, seeing how much it would be. What? That's the total? What? That can't be the total. What? That, something gotta be wrong. Cause this is like way, this is way cheaper than I would have ever imagined. There's no way. What? Wow. That is so cheap to go to fly there. Oh man, see that <laughs> make me kind of reconsider a little bit. That that's that's very cheap, at least from here. Now I know other people for a flight would be flying from different places, so I don't know, but from here, it is very cheap. And it's a straight shot. It's a long shot. This is like a five hour flight. I have never been on a flight for that long before. Longest flight I've been on three hours and 30 minutes maybe I've never been on a 5 hour flight before Longest flight I ever went on was from Here, South Florida To Chicago And that is like That's either 3 or 3 and a half hours But that and that was it That's my record Because whenever I fly to BWI It's 2 and a half hours That's it 2 and a half hours, boom, done And I always I, the, all, I always, the night before I always try to stay up late. I mean, I end up staying up late anyway uh, because I always pack super last minute. But I always try to stay up late so I can be sleepy on the flight. And it hardly ever works. Like, it, it hardly ever works. Um, but anyway, so, oh man, now this, this thing really got me. <laughs> this thing really got me thinking now, man. We, uh, we're gonna see that. Uh, let me look at that later because I don't want to get too distracted. Um, but yeah, with the schedule coming out, the, the, the game that I'm looking forward to the most is the Dolphins game when they come down here. Because we, man, we always have a lot of fun to when the Ravens come down to play the Dolphins. Um, I even, like, I was looking up uh, Ravens, Dolphins, uh, the vlog. I looked it up on YouTube. Um, so, of course, the one that uh, the most recent one from 2019 that came up in the feed. But then also uh, the a preseason game from 2018 came up Lamar's rookie year. And then a regular season game that we went to the Ravens and Dolphins came up from 2000. Oh, I forgot what year that was, but I think that was one that the Dolphins actually won where we had Matt Schaub. Uh, I would have to take a look at it, but you know, let me look. Let me look at it right now, cause it's like, if you ever look it up, it's uh, <clears throat> excuse me, this should be one of the first videos that comes up. Um, see, now it's not doing it. Earlier it was the okay. I see that one. Nope, that's not the one. It's not the one. Anyway, uh, I I look for it later, but. Yeah, I can't find it now. Uh, but yeah, Ravens Dolphins is that's that's the the game right there, man. Because it's the Florida Ravens versus the Florida Dolphins, and it's just a beautiful thing. Um, but anyway, schedule the rest of the schedule will be out. You may even by the time you hear this podcast, you probably will have heard of some more games uh, that are on the schedule. And with um. Mm, Oh, there's one rumor going around right now that the Ravens actually play the Chiefs in week two. So we'll see again. Like I said, by the time you hear this podcast, that will you'll know. Um, so we'll we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but I just I just can't wait, man. It's it's gonna be good times. But anyway, flipping away from football, uh, Carter Carter has been he switched it up. He switched it up because what he did, like 
there had been a while where he was like super into Lego toys and um, the Mario Lego toys and those things. They boy, they run some money. Right? They, those things be expensive. Um, and even at Walmart, see that's that's when I knew they were expensive too because I would look for these Mario Lego toys. I look for them at Target. I said, "Ooh, that's, that's, that's a lot of money." I look for them at Best Buy. I said, "Ooh, that's a that's a lot of money." Um, but then I would look for them. I'll be like, "Oh, but Walmart. I know Walmart gonna come through because Walmart. It and it happens all the time where Walmart you'll see something at one of those other stores, Target, Best Buy, or wherever." You'll see it then. You'll be like, ooh, I want to get that. But uh, that's, that costs a lot of money. Let me go hit up Walmart. So you go to Walmart, and it's way cheaper. But nope, not with these Legos. Walmart, exact same price. I'm like, man, that's how I knew they were expensive. But anyway, so he got a bunch of them for card and whatever. He loved them. Loved them, loved them, loved them. Um, but after a little while, like... He just had not been playing with his toys. He hadn't been playing with his toys at all. And I was like, okay, because he was a lot more into the video games and stuff like the Switch. And he'll play on the PS5. He'll play on the Xbox, too. But um, he just hadn't really been into the toys. And I was just like, ah, oh, whatever. Ain't, ain't no big deal. So we, his room stayed clean for so long because he wasn't in there playing with his toys. His room would be so clean. I was like, okay, let's go. But all of a sudden, I think last week, last week he just, he started playing with the toys again. And so every, every single day he's been in his room playing with his toys. And it's like, oh, well, okay, well, this is certainly a switch up. I be playing with the, all the toys and stuff, all the, the Lego toys, all his favorite. Um, so I'm like, okay, I guess it's just a... It was just like a mini phase or something like that. He just wasn't feeling the toys for a little bit. I, I don't know, man. But it's all good. Now, another phase that he's currently going through right now. Oh, boy. Has been a dog phase. Carter wants to get a dog. But the phase has like, it. it's come and it's seen, it, it's strengthened over time. It's strengthened over time, and it's just his want for a dog uh, had just gotten a lot stronger. And I was thinking, like, okay, um, this whole little dog thing. I know, like, he he likes dogs. He likes smaller dogs because I get because they not bigger than him. Even though I feel like if we got a dog that would be big, like. As the dog grew, I think Carter would be just fine because he would know the dog. He would know the dog's personality and stuff. He would learn to know the dog. The dog would learn to know him. They would grow together. So even if we got a dog that would be bigger, I think he would be fine. Uh, but right now, he likes smaller dogs. But anyway, that's that's beside the point. Um, but Carter, he he likes dogs. He said he wants a dog. Da -da -da -da. So I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. I didn't really think too much of it. Um, but then... So it's like he's been subtly getting uh, this, I don't want to say dog training or dog therapy, but he's been kind of getting that like over the past couple of months. Because before, um, like my wife and her sister, they grew up with two Yorkies. Uh, it's a mom and a daughter, and they still have those Yorkies. The, the mom is a little older. She's a little sick. She just had surgery like a couple of days ago. Um but they grew up with those two Yorkies. Now her sister, her sis, my wife's sister and her husband, they have those two Yorkies up in Tampa. We went to Tampa a few weeks ago and Carter was with the Yorkie. He loved them. He was holding them, picking them up and stuff. And like before, like this dude would not be picking up no dog. He would look at it. Uh, if it's small, he might pet it or whatever. He wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't pick it up. So that was another step in him getting more comfortable with a smaller dog. Uh, so he picked them up. He'd had them sitting in his lap. He he just he loved them dogs, and even when we were leaving Tampa, he even started tearing up a little bit, saying that he was gonna miss the dogs. I'm like oh boy, and when he was in Tampa too, um, he was still because he y'all know he does a school from online, so he was still doing his school from online, and he had done this reading assessment with a teacher. Uh, she graded his reading or whatever. Um, and she, she did say he was a level above or where he needed to be. So I was very proud about that. But anyway, uh, after the assessment, after they were done reading and stuff, 
he went to go grab the computer. It was like he was like vlogging or something. He was like, hey, look at my dogs. So he showed them the dogs. And then when the teacher was like, okay, bye, Carter. He uh, picked up one of the dogs and, and made her wave her hand at, at the teacher and stuff. So super comfortable with the dogs. So I'm like, okay, this dude like really loves them dogs. So then back here, uh, we went to one of my boys' house who has a, a grown boxer. And before Carter would be like, when it came to this boxer, this dog, he would not be messed because the dog is very hyper. She is very, I love that dog. I love it. I always tell my boy, I say, hey, if you ever need me to dog watch her, the babysitter, let me know. Let me know. And um, I, I love that dog because she just, she, she's so big and she's just so like, goofy and like loving almost she always licking she she jump on me and stuff every time I, I love that dog um but with carter he ain't like that because it's two things he doesn't like hyper dogs and he did, does not like uh he big dogs so that, that's like a double double combination because she was both so whenever we would go to his house she would get the jumping and licking and stuff he would hate it he, like, ah, ah. he would hate it but the last time we went there she was doing all that, and Carter was like, he was chasing her. I'm like, well, hold up, man. Who, who is this kid, man? So his fear of her, it went away. And I guess he just had to see over a period of time that, okay, maybe she's like a, she's like a friendly giant or something. Um, but he started chasing her. He started messing with her. He was laughing at her and stuff. And he wasn't, like, scared of her anymore. He didn't, like, necessarily have – she didn't go up to him. Well, she did a little bit. And he wasn't, like – before he would be screaming. And like hiding behind either me or my wife or something. But this time, if she went up to him, he would just, he would turn around, like turn his back to her. But he would be like doing like this kind of like nervous laugh to where it's like fun. He's enjoying it. But at the same time, he's a little bit nervous. Um, but it wasn't anything crazy. So I'm like, man, this dude got to that level with this boxer. And again, she's big. It's a big dog. Um, so I'm like, wow. He certainly uh, came, came a long way. So then... Uh, about a little less than a week ago, me, my wife, Carter, we all went to the puppy store just to look. I forgot what we were doing like right before that. Maybe we had went grocery shopping or something, but we just like, you know, we don't go to the puppy store. They'll just go just to go, just to look. So we went to one puppy store. They were like, hey, no, 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 uh, no petting the puppies. Just for their safety, for your safety, no petting the puppies. Cause I, I had I had put on some sanitizer. I had my hand. I was petting one of the. Uh, I think it was a golden doodle or something. But anyway, um, so we went there and we were looking at some of the different dogs. Like, oh, that's cute. It's that. Blah, 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 whatever. Okay, cool. Bye. So we left, and then I was like, you know what? Let's go to another puppy store. So we went to another puppy store. Uh, but this one, like you were. Uh, it was a much more, hmm, I guess, yeah, more intimate puppy store because it was about the same size as the one we went to the previous, the previous one that we went to, but it was just more intimate because you could actually touch the puppies. You could, you could, um, you could pet them and whatnot. Um, and I think because we, we were the only customers in there too. So that certainly helped as well. And the only other people that were in there were just a bunch of the workers, the bu people that worked there. So we were petting some of the different dogs and whatever. And then we saw this one dog, um, a Shih Tzu. We saw the dog, little, little dog. Um, it was a cute dog. And Carter was looking at it. My wife looked at it. I looked at it. I was like, ah, whatever. Though. But they looked at it. They're like, oh, that dog's cute. And so we were looking around and we were getting ready to leave. And Carter was like, no, I don't want to leave yet. I, wanna, uh, I still want to see that dog. So we went. Looked at the dog again. And one of the uh, people that worked there, she's like, oh, do you want to play with it? And I asked Carter if he wanted to play with it. He's like, oh, yeah, I want to play with it. So we went inside one of those little areas, the closed off areas where you play with the dogs. Uh, she let us play with the dog. Carter was playing with it. The dog was biting. The dog bit my keys. It was biting my, uh, my string to my keys. I'm like, man, this dog, like, get off. It's a cute little dog, whatever. It's too too small for me, but my wife liked it. Carter liked it. Carter, if he got a dog like that, he had to be extra gentle with it, but he liked it. But where it got bad is where he he named the dog. 
And I was like, oh boy, here we go. He named the dog uh, Mookie. Because we've had a lot of conversations, me, my wife, and Carter, where we, um, where we, uh, will say, if, if, we will ask Carter, like, if we got a dog, what would you want to name it? And the names he came up with, he said Mookie, uh, he said Pookie, uh, Cooper, uh, and Bowser. So those are, those are four names that he would name a dog. Um, and I think there was another one, too. But anyway, so, but he, he named that Shih Tzu. He named it. And I was like, oh, this, this dude, he's setting himself up. But he had liked the dog, was playing with it or whatever. But then uh, there was a family next to us in, in like the little area for playing with the dogs that was next to us. And they were playing with a golden doodle. And my wife, she, she loves golden doodles. That's what she would want to get. She would want to get a golden doodle if we got one. Um, so the family was done playing with the golden doodle. And one of the workers was picking it up. And my wife was like, oh, is that a golden doodle? And she, she, she knew it was a golden doodle. But the lady that was helping us, she was like, oh, yeah, it is. Do you guys want to play with that, too? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. So they took the Shih Tzu and brought in the Golden Doodle. The Golden Doodle, um, that one was, like, super playful. Super nice. Uh, they grow to be a decent size. Uh, I don't, me, I, I wouldn't really want no small dog, but it's not, like, if we do end up getting a dog, which I, we probably will, but if we do end up getting a dog, it's not going to be, like, if we get a dog, the dog that we're going to get, it's going to be more so for Carter and my wife, like, for them. Um, like, they're their type of dog. I know it's not going to be my I'm I'm going to end up loving the dog because I already know I'm going to be the main one taking care of it. Uh, but it's going to be a dog more so for them. Um, but, uh, so they brought in the golden doodle and we're playing with it. Like I said, it's super hyper, super playful. Uh, Carter, he, he was like, he was having a lot of fun playing with it. And like the laugh that there's a certain laugh that he does when he's having a lot of fun and where he's extremely happy. Like Carter, he's, he's happy all the time. He ain't no angry kid or nothing, but when he's extremely happy, it's a different kind of laugh. Like when something's either extremely funny to him. Or when he's extremely happy, there's this like there's this voice, and anybody with kids like well kids that talk, uh, cause, cause babies I don't think babies get it yet, but with kids that talk, there's this you can hear it. you you know the voice you like you know their regular voice, but you also know their voice, um, you 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 also know their voice when they get extra happy about something and extra excited about something. It's just a different kind of voice. It's a different kind of pitch. And Carter had that pitch when he was playing with this dog. The only other time he's had that pitch is when we go to Disney World. Uh, but he had, or if we go to a hotel, because he loves going to hotels. Um, but if we, when he was playing with that dog, like, he was laughing, like, laughing, like crazy, laughing super loud. He was having a good time. He was just so happy. The dog kept biting him, and he was like, it's this small little space. But Carter's finding a way to run away from the dog And the dog keep chasing him and stuff And he's having so much fun with this golden dude Love it So he was like Oh, that that's Pookie So he named that dog too And I said, oh boy, what are you doing? Name the dog But what I asked the I asked the worker there When we first Before we even started playing with the dog I asked the worker, oh, how much is, how much is that dog? How much is that golden doodle? So then she just, she said, oh, I, I got to check out. Then she just started talking about something else. So then while we were in the little space playing with the dogs, I asked her again, how much is that golden doodle? She changed the subject. And I said, oh, yeah, I already knew what time it was then. So then some more time passed. She showed us all the benefits and stuff. If you buy a dog from here, this is what you get with it. You get a cage, you get toys, you get, uh, you get uh, training, which is really cool. Um... They get they got their shots. You get their records. You get all that stuff. The microchip. All you get all that stuff. You get all that stuff, and there's more too. Um, so you you get all these features and stuff and all these accessories and of course the dogs in there too. Um, so she took us through a whole little presentations and stuff. She had an iPad out showing us all these this different slideshow or whatever. And I was like, oh, how how, how much is a Golden Doodle? She said, oh, it's, it's, it's $7,500. I said, oh. 
<laughs> yeah, no, we're not getting that. Nope. Not at all. And I'm just like, oh, boy, that like, woof. Man. And so we, she was like, oh, what's your budget? And I told her, she was like, oh, I can uh, I can call my manager if you like to see if it, we could come down. So, and I said, no, nah. I said, you don't have to call your manager. No need to. Cause there's no point. Like I ain't no. Seventy five, seventy five hundred is a starting price. No, you can keep that dog. You can keep it. I don't want it. You can keep it. So, um, so she she walked away for a little a while. So, cause we were still playing with that dog for a while. Really caught it. And my wife were, but we were, they were still playing with the dog for a while. And I just um, I had no attachments to either one of the two dogs because I knew going in like no we're not getting either one of these two dogs. Or we're not. I knew going in was before we even walked to the store. I knew we were on the way to the store. Like no, we not getting any dogs. We ain't getting no dogs today. We're not unless they about to give us one for free. Or super cheap or something We ain't getting no dogs today A lot of these dogs be crazy prices And I'm like no I'm straight Straight Um so then uh But yeah they she let us play with the dog For a little while longer Then she came back And like no we're not getting a dog So um Took the dog away Carter was a little bit sad He didn't want to tell the dog by But he ain't crying nothing So then um We went home He's on the way home. He was like, "Oh, I, I miss, I miss Pookie." And that was Golden Doodle. And, and no, no, he said, "I miss Mookie." That was the Shih Tzu. He said, "I miss Mookie, not Pookie. I miss Mookie." And I got, I said, "We we'll see the dog another time." So then, um, I want to say it was the following night. Not, I don't think it was the same night, but I think it was the following night where we went. We were getting ready to go to sleep. We're in the bed, laying down, and Carter just, he just starts, he starts whimpering a little bit. I'm like, what? Like, what's going on, man? Like, the dude, he didn't get in trouble. <laughs> but he, uh, nothing happened. Like, what's going on? And then he just starts bawling. <sighs> like, the only time this dude, like, and I told you about, with, with, with people with kids, um, with people with kids, you... You know their voice when they get extremely happy about something, extremely excited, but you also know a voice when they get extremely sad. And Carter, with the vo with the way that he was crying, um, this dude, he, like it was the only time he's cried, he's cried like he was crying, is when he he's in a lot of trouble. Well, with me, that's the only time he ever cries like that. So I'm like, man, he's crying like that and he's not in no trouble. Like, I'm, I'm like, man, this is a real cry. Like, this dude was like balling bad, big time. Balling. Balling like crazy. And my wife's like, Carter, Carter, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? And <laughs> I was just laughing because I, I wasn't laughing at Carter. I was laughing because I was, I was texting uh, one of my homeboys on Snapchat. And we're just sending each other like these goofy memes. So the timing was kind of bad for when I was laughing. But anyway, um, she was like, Carter, what's wrong? What's wrong? And he was like, oh, I miss Mookie. I miss Mookie. I don't want anybody to buy him. So he was crying over the shih tzu. He fell in love enough with that dog. No, you know what? Actually, ah, uh, back up, back up, back up. Because my wife, she was the one that actually started it. Because she, she's been looking at dogs. She's been doing research on all these different dogs and stuff for a while now. So what she was doing, she had been doing that same research before he was getting ready to go to sleep. And then she pulled out her phone. She was like, hey, Carter. Because she had took a picture of uh, Mookie. Or she went to the place's website or something. And then there was a picture of him. Well, actually, Carter, uh, Carter named him that. I'm over here calling him that like that's his name or something. But... She uh, took a picture and she showed, she showed Carter. She's like, hey, Carter, who's this? And Carter looked. That's when he started bawling. That's when it was. Um, so it was like, oh, boy. Uh, and he, he just, he, boy, he went crazy. Like I said, bawling. Bawling, bunch of tears. You could tell he had the ugly face on because he was doing an ugly sounding cry. 
And it was just it was bad, man. It was it was bad. Just straight balling. Balling, balling, balling. And yeah, I miss Mookie, I miss Mookie. And I, somebody else is gonna get it. I don't want anybody else to buy it. And this was going on for a while, man. It was going on for like 20 minutes. And then he stopped to slow down for a little bit. Then he started it up again. And I'm like, man. So I think I started playing like music to like one of the Mario games uh, to try to kind of change the subject or take his mind off it a little bit. So that that helped. But then he ended up going to sleep. So I'm like, oh man, cheesh. So very next morning. He's getting ready. He, he's he logged into school. Camera's on, whatever. It's the morning time. Teacher saying good morning to people. She's saying good morning to some different students or whatever. So then she gets to Carter. She says, good morning, Carter. And he said, good morning. And she's like, oh, Carter. Uh, and she never, ever, ever asked about, asked about this. Uh, she... Never mentions them when she's talking to Carter at all. Even if it, even if she's talking to him about it, whether she's talking to him about a subject that they're going over or she's just talking to the students in general, she never ever brings this up. But she just so happened to bring this up the very next, the, the following morning after this dude was bawling. She says, "Hey Carter, do you have your dog with you?" And I was like, "Oh boy, here we go." But thankfully, um, he just said no. That they those dogs are not here. Um, so I was like, ooh, whew, because I was just, I was worried that she was going to open that up again, open up those wounds, and just, oh, God, just, it was tough, man. I, 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 I felt a little bit bad for him, um, but I said, hey, can't fall in love, and, and I just, my wife was like, oh, see, this, this is why we got to get a dog, uh, not for no $7,500. And they even had a thing in Carter. See, this is the it's like a it's a good thing. We love that he reads, but at the same time it can be a little like, oh man, this dude, he he reads, so he knows everything. He knows he can explore more possibilities now now that he can read. When we were at that puppy store, there was a sign that said, <laughs> You don't have to pay now. And Carter kept reading that over and over again. He was like, Hey, Daddy, look, you don't have to pay now. You don't have to pay now. I'm like, oh. Because they have this thing where you can apply for credit And you can do payment plans and stuff And yeah, that's cool, that's nice But I ain't trying to get into no debt for no dog I'm not um, I love credit card balances saying zero I love it um, It's a beautiful thing I just Oh boy But anyway Um and I told my wife, I said, see, this, this, is what, this is why you you can't go to one of these stores alone. You can't. Because I, I know that if it would have just been her and Carter, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm scared that we might have even come back with two dogs. But probably even one. And for them super high prices, too. But I told this, I said, this is why you can't go alone. Because I already know, man. I already know, and and best case scenario, if she would have went along with Carter, and 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 she even said it too. She was like, man, she she was like seeing him play with the dogs. That that's what really got me. I said, oh boy, oh boy. But if she would have went along, man, I know she. Best case scenario, best case scenario, if she went along with Carter and didn't get a dog, she would have for sure applied for the credit. She would have for sure applied for it. Um, but I just, it's not, that's, that's, that's just too much, man. I said, no, nah, y'all, y'all not going to any of these stores alone. No, 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 no. And maybe if, if, if they even, if I even think they're going to go to one of those stores alone, I'm, I, I just need to take her ID. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to hide her ID or something. So they can't run her credit. Um, well, they probably going to end up finding a way anyway. They probably going to be like, oh, you know what? We can run your credit and you can just come back with your ID or something and put it through. I'm like, yeah, right. But man so i guess we're, we're looking um but we're looking for something that's reasonable so if y'all have any suggestions on places to look for a dog that's reasonable because i ain't these these crazy pre now mm -mm, 75 no 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 i'm not about to pay 7500 dollars 
that's a no that's a lot no <laughs> no i just can't do that man seventy five hundred dollars for no mm -mm. Mm -mm. no no and nope mm -mm. so if y'all know any way that's reasonable um or y'all have any suggestions because i know everybody don't live in miami but if y'all have any suggestions then please let us know feel free to uh well you leave it in the comment section on this video or hit me up on twitter instagram or something like that let, let me know because this whew, that was a lot so anyway i love y'all team keep it clean i appreciate y'all thank you for listening thank you for taking the time to listen and y'all have a really good day love y'all we out